14 weeks pregnant today. I always do this thing. <laughs> I'll stop with that. Anyways, I'm 14 weeks today and OMG. Okay, the baby has definitely grown because this morning I had a little bit of a freak out because I had picked out this lovely outfit and all the accessories and everything to go with it and all the colors and everything. And um, I was so like set on this outfit. <laughs> and then I hadn't worn the top part, like the top in a couple, well, probably a couple of months, like probably since last year because I'm kind of breaking out all my, my spring stuff now. So um, I tried on the top, <laughs> it made me look like a marshmallow stuffed into cling film. Like it was so disgusting and gross. My boobs have grown as well as my tummy obviously. And um, so it was a like deep v-neck and it was just like boobalicious. And then it had this other like roll of flab where my stomach and my hips are. Cause it, it's just like that awkward stage where I'm not showing enough to for people to know that I'm pregnant, but I kind of just look like I've eaten too many pies. <laughs> and it was so disgusting, like it look, made me look like such a freak and I was just like, oh my God. So I tried on all these different things and like, my husband was just like laughing at me because I kept coming in and like worse out, like it was just so bad. And I was like, oh my God, I have to like, I have to find something that works, you know? So I found this, which is kind of boring, but like, <laughs> It was just so funny. That was, that top is actually quite tight anyway, and I don't know, it was just very unflattering for me right now. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting like more of a proper bump so I don't look so like chubs, you know, because I'm kind of like in between stage, but anyways. So I'm 14 weeks today and I'm, I'm happy that the baby's growing, obviously that's the most important thing. But um, it's funny because I'll show you guys later in the um, bump shot or whatever, but my stomach has kind of like round, it's like rounded out, like it's, before it was kind of like sloping, so it was like flat and then it would go out, like a little bump, like a cute little thing, but now it's actually rounded more, so like the top part of my stomach actually looks like bigger as well, so it looks like I've eaten lots of pies. Anyways, okay, so I wrote everything out this time because I was like, I am not going to 20 minutes, I am not going to do it. Um, so I wrote everything out so I, I knew like what, um, what to say. So, how far along? 14 weeks and zero days. Like, this is the day that I, that I move up. Uh, total weight gain. I weighed myself this morning, which I don't um, usually do. I told you guys I was going to do measurements and stuff. I keep forgetting to take measurements. But um, I was just curious because, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to know. And I'm actually up five pounds. I thought I was up six from when I was at the doctor's, um, when I weighed, they weighed me. But um, I think Probably I weighed a little bit more because one of the like rules of um, the ultrasound which I had that day was that you had to drink a liter of water before you come in and so my bladder was full so obviously I was <laughs> probably like weighing a little bit more because of all the water but yeah I'm up um, five pounds <clears throat> from my pre-pregnancy weight and um, apparently that's like right on it's bang on on target. Um, according to this, I'm gonna put the link to it down below. I got it from um, Regina, Sexy Fit Prego Mom on YouTube. Um, check her out if you haven't already, if you like pregnancy vlogs. But she mentioned this website where you can like track your weight um, gain for pregnancy and see that it's like on track and everything. In the beginning I was like not gonna weigh myself. I was, I was like, you know, I don't know if I really like that idea of watching the scale go up instead of down. But now it's just different. Like I feel like proud of every pound I gain because I know it's it's good, it's healthy, you know, you have to gain weight. And um, I really thought it would be different. I thought I would be like, kind of like uncomfortable with it or something, but it, it's so different. Like when you get pregnant, you just everything's just about the baby and you just want, you want to gain weight. You want to like, for the baby to be healthy. It's just the most important thing in the world. So, and I'm loving it. Like I love every pound that I gain. I'm like, yay, you know. So I'm happy because I put it in, you put in like your weight, your pre-pregnancy weight, your height, everything. Um, and then you put in your weight now and how far along you are and it calculates like where you should be and if you're over or under whatever. And I was like, great, on target. So that was great. Um, maternity clothes. Okay, so I've been wearing the bump bands or the belly bands. I never know what they're called. I can't remember. Bump bands, belly bands. I call them bump bands, but... 
Um, and the black one is now stretched out. That was funny because I've been wearing the black one more because I wear more black. Today I'm wearing the white one. I'll show you guys in my bump shot. But um, yeah, and the black one is like totally stretched out. <laughs> I got them both an extra small and it's actually good because it kind of goes like it... You have to get the size that you are, you know, you can't just get like large or small or whatever or medium or whatever you're you're not thinking that you're going to gain weight because that's just not going to work. You need to get the size that you are because your legs and everything are like the same size or at least mine are. Like I'm pretty happy and lucky that um, I think it's just to do with the body shape that I am but my lower body has not gained any, has, like, I haven't gained any weight. My, all my pants still fit. It's just that I can't, like, button them up. And I'm hoping that it'll stay like that because my mom was like that too. So she never gained any weight in her, in her lower body for when she was pregnant. So, woo, <laughs> hopefully I'll be like that too. But, um, yeah, you need to get the size that you are because otherwise it won't, like, work right. They're supposed to be quite kind of, like, snug. Um, so, yeah. But I'm really happy with them. They have saved my life. So I really recommend these. I got them in mother care. They were only 10 euros. So if you're pregnant, definitely check them out. Um, you can wear your own pants and you don't have to buy any maternity pants. Well, at least not yet. Uh, stretch marks? Nope. Um, I got a few questions on what I'm using. I forget to mention it in every video, but um, I was using the uh, Mamma Mio tummy rub oil every night after my showers because I take showers at night. Um, now, well, I didn't actually today, I took mine in the morning, but usually I do it at night because I find it's better. Um, it's just more relaxing and stuff, so, yeah, that's what I've been using, um, and just lathering my whole entire body with that, and then just, like, um, hoping for the best, and hopefully I won't get many. <laughs> um, my mom never got any stretch marks, though, so, yeah, we'll see. Um, sleep is going great. I have the craziest dreams ever, um, every night. It's like a different movie in my, in my brain. Um, it's weird, but sleep has been fine. I mean, my, my kind of, um, my left side is the most comfortable side for me. So, sorry, there's a girl, like, sitting in her car, and she's totally, like, looking up at me right now as I'm filming, and it's really, really awkward. I'm like, just leave your car and go away, please. It's so awkward when neighbors look up at you when you're filming, because you're, like, just talking to yourself in a room. Yes, she's leaving. <gasps> she was, like, sitting in her car staring up at me. Anyways, um, okay. So, yeah, best moment of the week was definitely getting legally married in Ireland. That was so cool. Like, I was just so happy to do it. We were both so happy to do it. Um, and it, what was even cooler was that Pankoga, my little baby, was there with me. If you don't already know, we nicknamed our baby Pankoga because it means pancake in Irish. And Pancake Tuesday was kind of like along the first part of my pregnancy and it was just like a big deal. So, yeah. But um, that was really cool because he or she was there. Um, oh, also decorating my room. <laughs> that was a good um, moment of this of last week. Um, do I miss anything? No. Movement. I've had no movement since the last time, which is kind of sad because I want to feel it move. But um, so then sometimes I doubt myself, and I'm like, was that even the baby moving? Like, did I make that up or whatever? But I don't think so. Like, I really think that was it. Anyway, um, food cravings. Oranges are still my number one craving because I ate like four of them one night before bedtime and it was just like one after the other like oh, blah, 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 blah. I just wanted oranges So um, yeah, definitely oranges and then this really funny thing happened So last Monday we were watching The Apprentice the celebrity apprentice the American one which by the way is like one of the worst shows on TV. Like I don't know who else, who else watches it? Like leave me a comment if you watch this show, but it's actually crap. Like it is the worst show of all time. It's so bad. Every time we watch it, we're like, why are we watching this? I think we just watch it like out of, I don't know, like amazement of how stupid it is. I don't, I don't know. It's just so bad. But anyways, um, so we're watching it. And one of the first tasks that they had to do um, was to make sand like sell sandwiches, make and sell sandwiches. And I had like had my dinner and everything. I had had like my dessert. I think I, I had had like every you know I had finished like eating for the day basically. It was like late at night, and I was like, oh my god, I really want a sandwich. And not just any sandwich. Like I was craving like a big juicy fat sandwich. I wanted a sandwich with like mayo, tomatoes, cucumber, um, lettuce, like just really 
big sandwich. I really wanted one. So I didn't fulfill the craving then because I was just like, this is crazy. Like, this is just like insane. The next day it was still there. So my husband and I went after we actually had dinner at my mom's house on the on Tuesday night and we went to um the petrol station afterwards and he got like normal stuff like he got like more teasers or something and I got a Plowman's cheese sandwich <laughs> and it was so good oh my god it just tasted so amazing so that was really random and then I didn't get it again since that since then since that what but oranges are definitely yeah oranges um Queasy, oh, what's making you feel queasy? You're sick. Uh, still shrimp or prawns. I can't eat them anymore for some reason. Um, I've gone on, I've gone on. I've kind of, um, I had gone off coffee, but now that's kind of gone. So I, I can tolerate coffee again. Um, gender, well, we don't know, but I'm still thinking boy. I still have it in my head that it's a boy. And if it's a girl, I'm going to be, I mean, I, I'm going to be so happy either way. Some people have miss understood and think that I want a boy and I don't want a girl like I that I you know have a preference I don't especially because it's my first I could care less like if it so long as it's healthy who cares but I would be so happy with either one like I just feel like in my brain that it's just I, I can't I can't understand how it could be a girl like I really just feel like it's a boy so that's just the way it is I don't have a preference though. It doesn't mean that I don't want a girl, you know, I would like either, especially because it's your first you just, you don't care. It's like, whatever. Um, labor signs, no, <laughs> obviously not. Um, symptoms, okay, so my boobs are still sore and tender and everything, so every time like a gust of wind goes past, <laughs> they hurt. Um, and then, oh yeah, my boobs have grown again. Like, it's kind of obvious because like every time um, especially at night time, like when I'm taking off my bra, they're, it's like busting out. So I, I need to get new bras probably at some point again. Um, I had like cheek and jawline acne, so you probably can't really tell now because I have makeup on. But yeah, just around my cheeks and jawline, which is weird. I never got that before. And then dry flaky areas, but not too much. It's kind of gone down a little bit. Like the acne thing is kind of like evening out. Like it's not as crazy as it was definitely anymore. Um... And then crazy dreams, yeah, that's a big symptom. And then, um, oh yeah, that was weird. It kind of hurts, or it gets uncomfortable for me sometimes to like bend over. Um, like when I'm putting on my socks or doing things like that, I'm like, oh, it's so uncomfortable, <laughs> you know? But um, because of the bump, like it's never, I've never had that before, you know, it's, it's weird. But um, it's not like a huge complaint. Belly button is still in. I've always had an innie, so I'm really like, does everybody get an outie when they have, when they're pregnant? Like, does that really happen? Like, I never even thought of that until I saw this questionnaire and still, until I started doing it, but I'm like freaked out. Like, is my belly button really going to turn into an outie? Like, that's so weird, because I've always had an innie. Uh, wedding rings on, happy or moody, happy most of the time, I would say, and looking forward to decorating the house and buying our rug, <laughs> because as my, um, as our kind of like second wedding present, I mean, I don't know, it was kind of like a second wedding, I guess, um, my mom actually gave us, because I had been talking about this rug that I really, really want for ages, and it was super expensive, it was like I think it was like 200 euro. It's something around 200 euros or something like that. But it's really good quality rug. Like it's really amazing. And I really, really wanted it for our bedroom. And um, my mom gave me money for our wedding. She like gave me a card and I opened it up and inside was like 200 euros. And she said it was for, for the rug. And I was like, oh my God, that was so nice. So um, I mean, I, I would have bought it eventually, I think, but I probably would have like waited because we had just decorated my room this month, so I probably would have waited another month or something, but it was really nice first, so now I don't have to worry and I can just go and buy it. And um, yeah, so that's really cool. And then I'm gonna show you guys my bump, obviously, and hopefully the neighbors won't think I'm crazy. Well, luckily that girl is gone. Um, but you could definitely tell this week it's grown a lot, so I'm gonna show you guys. Just gonna move my chair out of the way. All right, I may have to actually move you guys down a little bit. Do I? Yeah, hold on, let me just move some of these books. There we go. 
All right. Oh, I could I could have just moved. That <laughs> was clever. Um, okay, so this is the front. You can definitely tell from the front as well. I mean, do you guys remember? Like, watch my earlier videos. Like, I did not have this whole thing going on here. That's weird. Um, so yeah, that's the front. See, my waistline is like disappearing. <laughs> And then that's the side. See how it's evened out? There's like more bumpiness up here as well. See that? Now I'm wearing my white belly band. Um, so I'm gonna show, and I'm wearing a tank top underneath. I tend to layer a lot. So i just push this down. Make sure I'm not showing you guys my underwear. Oh yeah, my pants are open by the way. So, okay. There's the front. I have a line there for my pants, but don't mind that. And then that is the side. So you can definitely tell, like, see how, remember before it was like more kind of sloping, but now it's more like, it's out there. And my waistline is like, almost gone. <laughs> so yeah, that's what it looks like. But I'm happy because it's growing and that's the most important thing. So excuse me while I just tuck my vest inside. Okay. And then see how this just like covers, you cover like your open, oh crap, that's inside out. Well done. Okay. <laughs> so you cover like part of your bum. And then you also cover um, your open pants, and then it goes down here as well. And it's just, it makes everything so much better. And then you cover up with that, and you can have it as low or as high up as you want. So that's the bump for this week. Okay. All right, we're already at 17 minutes, oh my god, okay. So that is my, oh, I have like tons of hair in my eyes and my lips, okay. Um, so that's my pregnancy vlog for this week. Um, really happy to be 14 weeks. And um, the next ultrasound from the hospital is not until April, so that's ages away. But we are going to get a 3D scan, um, like just privately. We're just going to pay for one because we want to see, we want to find out the, ba the baby's sex. Um, so we're going to do that probably at about 18 weeks, which is when? four weeks away, so a month away. Is that right? Yeah, I can't do maths. Okay, so um, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.